Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sorful here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best ways uh, to increase your damage range without spending anything in Maple Story. The only thing that it does consume is time. And you guys could say, well, time is money, and that is true, but, you know, since you're not getting money for your time, instead you're getting, you know, damage, more damage uh, to your character. So, it's kind of, you know, pretty much free. Alright, so the first way I'm going to show you guys is probably the most common way which most of you guys should know already but some of you guys still ask me questions on it and they are the link skills to see your link skills on your character you're gonna to wanna to go to your beginner skills and check out the link manager for those of you guys that don't know anything about link skills link skills are pretty much uh, certain skills that certain classes have and once they reach levels 70, 120 and even sometimes level 210 they, that skill levels up and what you could then do at those um, levels is link that skill to another character of yours preferably obviously your main your main character and a lot of them are super super helpful some of them not too much but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the link skills I have and I definitely recommend you guys get all of these I will tell you the classes that um, you need to make in order to get the link skill and they're super super worth it um, so yeah let's go ahead and start <clears throat> we got pirate blessing this is from a cannoneer so next time cannoneers are you know well, what's the word I'm looking for next time cannoneers are out again for creation go ahead and make yourself one and get it to level 120 most of these classes to get the level 2 link skill you're gonna have to make it to level 120 but the good thing is there's a lot of two times events that come around still and that's the perfect time to you know invest in your link skills and just level up those link skill mules as we like to call them uh, so my cannon here is level 120 plus and at level 120 plus you can see the current level 2 and you could read for yourself what it gives there so definitely make a cannoneer. It's not worth it to go for level 3 because that just takes way too much time. And yeah, you have to get it to level 210. So I'll state it again. Level 1 link skills are at level 70 for all classes. Except for 0. That There's an exception there. Uh, level 2 is level 120. So level 2 link skills at level 120. And then level 3 of the link skill, which is almost never worth it unless you main a character with a link skill is level 210 so for most of these guys you want to get them to level 120 so after the cannoneer we got the uh, this is my demon slayer and as you can see he gets 15 percent bossing at level 2 link skill so make sure your uh, demon slayer is level 120 plus we got a phantom make sure your phantom is level 120 plus as you can see it gives 15 percent critical rate I mean just look at how impactful these are to your character they're just so 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 good and completely worth the time it takes uh, to get all these characters in level 120 next is the luminous you get 15 percent PDR for free level 120 this is the um, I believe this is Kaiser yeah level 120 Kaiser gives you 15 percent HP no problem okay this one is optional <clears throat> if you're a class that already has 100% uh, stance, so you don't get knocked back by knocked back by skills, then you don't want to get the Mihail one. This is the Mihail link skill. Um, I have it because I'm an archer, and even before this, I was a knight lord, and stance really helps those classes. Um, so I have it. But if, if, like again, if you're a warrior class or something that has 100% stance right off the bat, like I know demon slayers do and stuff like that. Um, then you don't need this at all. Uh, you can still get it for your other characters or whatnot, but for your main character you won't need it. Instead, you could replace it with the Angelic uh, Buster or Burster Link skill, which for about 8 seconds or so gives you like 30% more damage. Something like that. It's super short, which is why I don't use it. And I personally prefer Night's Watch, which is Mihal's Link skill, over the Angelic Buster's one. So it's it's up to you, you know, with this one. But yeah, so if you're not gonna if you have stance already, go ahead and pick yourself up the Angelic Buster one. Or you could take Jet. Jet zone is a little eh, cause it could give you like thirteen or even more weapon attack, but it changes every month. 
That's the thing. And the only way to keep it the same for multiple months at a time, you have to invest an X into it, which probably wouldn't suit you guys since this is, again, free ways to increase your damage range. So you could replace the Night's Watch skill with either the Jet's Link skill or the Angelic Buster's Link skill. So one of the two replace Night's Watch. But for the ones that do need Night's Watch, this is the Mihail Link skill. And it gives you 100% knockback resistance for a brief duration, and it has a cooldown. Next, we got the Xenon class. Super great link skill with a simple all stats plus 10%. Really love it. Make sure it's level 120. Next, we have the Demon Avenger. 10% damage. Super great link skill. Uh, make sure your Demon Avenger is level 120. Next, we have Hayato. Now, for Hayato, they don't have level 2 in their link skill. And I don't think they ever will because it's been a while since they've been released. So for Hayatos, just make it level 70 and yeah, you'll be fine because it, it only has level 1 for a link skill. So make sure your Hayato is level 70. And of course, to make all these link skill guys, you guys got to have a lot of um, um, character slots available to you. For new players, you won't. But this is more for older players. But even for new players, you guys can make a couple link skill meals as well. Choose whichever ones you think are best. Um, I'll go over which ones I think are best in the end. And yeah. Next one though is the Kana. The Kana class. You got to make it to level 120. Um, and it gives a nice 10% damage just like the Demon Avenger one here. So really good link skill. Make sure that your Kana is level 120. And the last one I have on this character for now is the Focus Spirit, which is Beast Tamer's link skill. So make sure your Beast Tamer as well is level 120. Um, super great link skill. <clears throat> and then to inform you guys what my last one will be, it's going to be the uh, Shade link skill, which gives a 10% um, chance at level 2. So level 120 Shade will provide me with a 10% chance to um, like take a fatal blow that would kill me and still survive it kind of thing so that's and I really like that but for classes that don't really need it like zeros or uh, demon avengers or a few other classes then you guys probably don't need that link skill and instead you could replace it with a really really good one that even I still use the mercedes link skill the mercedes link skill make sure your mercedes is level 120 and it pretty much gives you 15 percent bonus experience for every single thing you kill which is absolutely amazing. Um, of course, if you're not a person that levels up a lot, then you don't really need that link skill, but it's always good to have, and it even has a nice feature where you could teleport to the Mercedes hometown, and, you know, it's a great way to travel around. But for me, I'm going to be using the Shade link skill here. Now, if you don't have too many um, character slots, uh, you know, I'd, I'd personally tell you to either get the Phantom one, or the Demon Avenger and Kana one because 10% damage is a lot. All right. So again, you could you know stop the video on the ones that you think are best for you. Just listen to what I said, and you know your character will be a lot more powerful than it was before. All right. So the next tip I'm going to show you guys is another beginner skill, like the link skills were, and this one is called Empress's Blessing and or Blessing of the Fairy. Now before I state anything, keep in mind that. Only one of these actually work for your character, if I'm not mistaken, and if they haven't changed it. Uh, so pretty much whichever one is higher is the one you'll get the blessing from. Now, Blessing of the Fairy is from Adventurer classes, and it goes up one level for every ten levels of your, of your highest adventurer on your account. So since my highest adventurer um, is level 200, which is my Night Lord, I get level 20 of this. However, I also have um, Empress's Blessing at level 20. Now this one is only, this one, your characters get Empress's Blessing from specifically Cygnus Knight classes. Uh, and since my Wind Archer is my highest level Cygnus class, my Wind Archer can't get his own skill. It's, it's pretty hard to explain. Let me try and go over it again. So I'm getting Empress Blessing from my Thunderbreaker, which is only level 100. But it's not like the Adventurer one, Blessing of the Fairy, because for every 10, uh, or I'll say it this way, for every 5 
Empress levels, so for every five Cygnus Knight levels, you get one level on Empress Blessing. So it's twice as effective uh, for half as much work as the Adventurer Blessing. And the thing that sucks about it, though, is, you know, since my main is a Cygnus Knight, it being level 200 technically would mean I'd have to have level 40 Empress Blessing, but it doesn't work like that because it doesn't give it to itself. You know what I'm saying? So, but all my other classes on my other accounts, I mean, all my other characters on this account, they would get my my Wind Archer's Blessing. So they would have, like, level 40 Empress Blessing, which is ridiculous. But I'm sure it doesn't go up to that. I think it only goes up to 24, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, all my other characters have 24, level 24 Empress Blessing. So it's pretty neat. That's a great way to increase your range. All you'd have to do is make a Cygnus Knight uh, level 100 on your account. Simple as that. Or, if you rather, you could make a level 200, um, you know, regular class adventurer on your account. So, either or, and you'll get a nice 20 weapon attack, magic attack, and accuracy and avoidability. Alright? Sorry if that was a little iffy to explain, but hopefully you guys got it in the end. If you have any questions about that, feel free to ask them below. The next few set of um, ways to increase your damage for free are all going to be around, revolving around the Codex. Uh, pretty much this is a book where you could gain stats on it. As you can see, minus plus 5 all. You gain stats on this book simply by collecting you know, monster cards from all around Maple World. Uh, my Night Lord Zone is like plus 8 all stats. I know it's a very small increase to your range, but hey, it's a free way to increase your range, right? And so mine right now gives 5 all stats. And yeah, it's pretty much... It's kind of effortless, you know, just kill a few mobs wherever you go to make sure you get the card. Another way to increase your range is if you actually double click this book and go to set, you know, you could equip a, a actual a codex set. And these, a lot of them give really, really good stats. Like, you could just go over them yourself. Uh, in order to see this page, though, you have to have one set. And the first set I obviously recommend you get is the, this one. All you have to do is collect the cards of these four monsters, and you'll get the set. And you'll also be able to see all the other sets. Now, the best set in the game currently is the Leafer set. So definitely work your way up to getting this set. It's not hard. Uh, the only hard part about it is getting the Horntail card. And, yeah, that could be a problem sometimes. I'll go ahead and click it to see what you guys need. Uh, Dragon Noir could be a little difficult to get as well because you have to actually do the PQ. But yeah, not too hard to get that set and it's really, really good. As you can see, it gives 30% PDR and all skill levels plus one. Other than that set though, I'd recommend you go with this one, the, the Dead Mind set. It's very, very easy to get. As you can see, these are the monsters that you need to get the cards of in order to get this set. It's super, super easy and it gives 2% attack, which is actually more than you think. So this, the sets are another super good way to get, <clears throat> you know, bonus damage on your range. Or to actually just do more damage, like this one. It doesn't actually affect your damage range, but it affects your damage on bosses and even monsters. So, you know, another super way to increase your damage range. Along with this as well, so this is the last one regarding the codex, it are some familiars. Now, familiars are c certain cards that certain mobs drop where it actually gives you the power to summon the mob back. Some of them give stats. Like, let me see if I can find one real quick. Some of them, yeah, this one. So this gives you strength, index, and luck. Sure, it's a small, a small amount, but hey, it gives you bonus damage to your range. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. And that's how it is. So you could actually summon it. You can name it what you want. And it increases your damage by a little bit. So my damage right now clean I'm missing some some stuff right now but it's 759488 let's go ahead and see what it is once I take this off so 759488 so I lost 300 damage from my range all right and that's a really bad uh, familiar so again it's free super simple and yeah great way to increase your damage range all right, the next great way to increase your damage range, and this could actually be very impactful on your character, is, of course, the inner ability system. This, you automatically unlock three lines of this at um, certain levels, being level 30, 60, and 100, I believe. 
if not 30, 70, and 100. So by level 100, you have three lines of this already, and it's completely free. All you have to do is click uh, the notifier light bulb on the left side of your screen, and then click, you know, unlocking the first ability, second ability, blah, blah, blah. And pretty much you get to reset them with points, which you obtain for free through medals such as this and other means. Or you could you know fight a few bosses every now and then and you'll get a, a circulator in your use tab called an ability circulator and once you use it it resets the potential on all of these uh, you could get super great things on this I had like I think I have 24 weapon attack on my night lord from inner ability my friend has 18 percent boss on it you could get you know various amounts of weapon attack very amounts various amounts of boss you could get a bunch of different stuff you could even get like 50 dex 50 strength or something so a ton of cool you know uh, potentials you could get from this and it's completely free so this is a super 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 good way um, that you know you work on it slowly obviously over time and stuff um, but it's a great free way to increase your damage on your character alright so this next way that I'm gonna show you guys to increase your damage range is a little different uh, it does require you to have a Android and an Android heart. Now, the reason why I'm adding this into free ways to get your damage range up is because there's a lot of events that come around in MapleStory that give out free Androids and Android hearts. Uh, you, per you just probably have to kill a few mobs or something like that. And so, like, yeah, just make sure you're keeping your eyes peeled and make sure you know when an event like this is coming around. Like these two, I got it for free, you know, just doing an event in MapleStory. So what you could do is, you know, you could either use event scrolls, which again are free. You just have to, you know, do a couple event quests and stuff like that. Or you could use spell traces, which as well are free. Uh, you could get these from killing mobs at any level or killing bosses. You get these by various, various different means. And so, yeah, you could use spell traces or event scrolls. And what you could do simply scroll the heart and since um, most hearts are very low level being level 10 uh, you know it requires a super small amount of spell traces to use a 30 percent scroll you know what I'm saying so it, it requires six wait it requires four spell traces for me to use this 30 percent scroll that gets three weapon attack on my heart so you could just wing it and you know scroll as many as you can, uh, slots as you can and boom free way to increase your damage range doesn't cost a thing and you know it's a super effective way to do it like this so you know you could get something like this for free and all it takes is time and yeah all right and the last way to freely increase your damage range I like how I said that <laughs> is you've guessed it character cards so let's go ahead and get in here and here we are Alright, so as you can see from my first page right here, there are obviously various ranks of character cards. S, double S, and you know, you got as low as B. Alright, so let's see if I have any other variations. Alright, we got A. Alright, perfect. Alright, all right, we're good. Okay, so clearly you can see that double S is the highest rank. I'm just going to start off with the ranks first. Double S is the highest rank, meaning level 200 or above. So your character has to be level 200 or above to have double S uh, character card rank. Uh, regular S is level 100 and above. So if your character is level 100 and above, you get S. Let's see the A. A is level 70 and above. So this guy is barely on uh, the A rank. And then you got your lowest rank being B. So B rank is level 30 to 70 and yeah. So pretty much you want to get your characters to as high as level as possible with good character cards. Um, I'm using some pretty swell character cards myself and all of mine are obviously S ranked so I could get the most benefits uh, right here. The, this is an absolutely phenomenal way to increase your range and although and also boost other stats to your character. As you can see right here, this one gives 4% HP, this gives me 6% minimum critical damage, and this one gives me 1.5 weapon attack per character level. So, and the thing about character cards is, you know, you, you have three card decks, and if you have three of the same type of character cards in here, so type meaning warrior, bowman, mage, thief, 
if you have three of the same type, it gives you an extra bonus effect. Um, they all give different effects, and the warrior one is a definitely good effect. It gives 8% of your max HP added as additional damage. And that's what I get for having three S rank warriors uh, here. I don't think they have to be the same rank. They could be different ranks, and you'll still get this um, effect, I think. Um, but, you know, for having three S ranks or three A ranks or three B ranks, you still get a, a, a bonus effect just for having three of the same ranks in a um, card deck. And for having three S's, you get 700 weapon attack. I mean, <laughs> that would be amazing, 700 weapon attack. You get 700 HP and MP, three weapon attack and magic attack, as well as 3% boss damage. So that's what you get for having three S ranks in a deck. And since I have three of those, I get three times that effect. And I also have three pirates in one because they also give a very cool thing, which is 6% PDR. Um, as you can see, four additional damage per character level. Strength, dex, luck increased by 20. So this is like all stats plus 20 kind of thing. And another same thing as Thunderbreaker. 3% yeah, crit rate, 3% boss, another 3% boss. So as you can see, this is a super great way to add some bonus stats to your character. And you could see every single thing that you get from here. So you could see all the stuff I get just from having these character cards. And it really makes, you know, leveling up different classes even that more worth it. You know, if you already find a class fun, go ahead and level it up. You know, it'll be worth it already. But, you know, if it has a good character card, then that makes it twice as much worth it. And, yeah, so just make sure you look at the character cards that you want or need you know there's I'm just showing you a couple that I'm not using you know we got a bunch of super good ones this one's really good I was thinking of putting it in but I'm not too sure 6% PDR but yeah you know you could tamper with it change stuff around and you know just look for which you know suits you best or gives you the most bang for your cards um, but that's all for ways on how to increase your damage range for completely free. Uh, hopefully you guys found this informative. If you have any questions, if I didn't cover something um, to your standard, feel free to comment in the comment section below. And you guys know how I do I answer every single one of those bad boys. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you guys found this informative. This has been a Soulful Production. I'll be seeing you all later. Peace. If you liked that last video, why not click another? You might like that one too. And don't forget to subscribe.